So, here are four top tips of how to practice better. Number one, most importantly, remove distractions. There's... So, sorry. D D Dave, sorry, I'm, I'm shooting a video at the moment. Number two, get comfortable. It's one of the most important things. Of course, a bit like number one is one of the most important things, but everything's important. If you're not comfortable, you're gonna build tension. If you build tension, you won't practice successfully. So get comfortable. Number three, set goals. And I don't mean a goal like learn the Rachmaninoff piano concerto number two or 42 minutes of it. No, that's too big a goal. Set small goals for yourself so you can achieve them quicker, so you can keep that motivation going. So maybe say, I'm gonna learn the first 12 bars of a piece, and after that, I'm gonna buy myself a box of chocolates or a glass of wine or a toy or whatever it may be, but set yourself goals which are easily achievable. And number four, say hello to bad habits. Yes, we all have bad habits. There's no getting away from it. But if you don't say hello to them and embrace them, notice them and then try and fix them, you're probably going to ignore them and that way you practice them in and you'll never get rid of them. So say hello to bad habits and then say goodbye. Oh, I've got a number five if you follow me over to the piano. So how do you keep it fresh? Well, the first thing to do is to experiment, have fun. You can do no wrong. One of the things I quite like doing is playing with my eyes closed. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing the Prokofiev. So I need to find it, there we go. Now I tell you, it's not easy to do that eyes closed. I'm jumping around the piano, but doing it with my eyes closed means that I have to know what those jumps are. And if I've really got them into my body, as I think you just heard, there wasn't any wrong notes. Phew, it's only taken 27 takes to get that right. So that's one technique. The other technique is maybe just do one hand or the other hand. Maybe even, I know it sounds a bit strange, maybe you want to play the left hand part in the right hand. Why would you do that, you ask? Well, it's simple. The more confused that you can get your brain by concentrating, the faster you're going to learn the music. Maybe you want to miss out your thumb. And so when it comes to the piano, you play everything but your thumb and you make sure you don't play your thumb. And that's when I really have to start concentrating. Maybe even just here's an idea, you only play your thumb. It really makes your brain work. You could do almost anything. How about the concept of playing backwards? Or how about even physically playing backwards? Now, I can't promise you I'm going to do this successfully. Here we go. It's not easy, I tell you. Do you know what? The world is your oyster. You can do absolutely anything. But the more you can do, the more creative you can be with your practice, the more it's going to make your brain think about the music and the faster you're going to learn. Keep it fresh. Have fun. That is point number five. If you follow those five points, you will practice more successfully. You will get better, faster and more constant. So... Enjoy music, practice hard, but most importantly, practice clever. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do you know what? I've got a bonus tip for you. How could I forget one of the most important things? Finger consistency. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit strange, but how your brain works, it's a bit like a tree. Every time you do something new, you grow a little branch. And it's a really, it's actually more like a twig. 
And then when you do it again, that twig gets a bit stronger and a bit thicker. And you do it again, and it gets stronger still. And you do it again, and it gets stronger still. But here's the thing. If you do it four times exactly the same, that branch gets really, really strong. And if on the fifth time, you use a different set of fingering, it weakens the branch because it shoots off into another direction. And instead of having one branch, you now have a branch and an extra little branch. And then when you get to that point in the music, your brain has a decision to make. Do you stick with that main branch? Or when you get to the point, do you then go off on the special fifth time that you did? Every single time you do something slightly different, your tree gets just a bit more complicated and you end up with lots of different branches. These branches are called neurons. Finger consistency is so important. If you play the same thing every single time with the same fingers, your branch, your tree, your neuron will get really strong and you give your brain zero option but to play it how you should play it. Every time you're inconsistent, you confuse things. So that's the key, that's the bonus tip. Stay consistent, be specific, use the same fingers time and time and time again and you won't go wrong. I lied, it wasn't four, it wasn't five, it was six tips of how to practice the piano. Now I'm off. <laughs>